Did you see the trailer for the next big horror film? That Ridley Scott revealed Neil Blomkamp's alien film is DOA? What about the long-awaited trailer release of The Dark Tower? No? We've got you covered. Welcome to The Cinephiles, a weekly show where we zoom in on the most buzzworthy news Hollywood and the indie scene has to offer. Before we start, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. All right, let's go. Number 3. A24 releases It Comes at Night trailer. Horror movies have a bad rap admitted It Comes at Night star Joel Edgerton, but he hopes this film helps rid the genre of that stigma, and judging by the new trailer, it looks like it's well on its way to. I just want to talk. And I want honest answers. With an unnatural threat sweeping through the world, a man and his family have sought refuge in a cabin in the middle of the woods. The trailer starts by showing us a man tied to a tree who is approached by a creepily masked Edgerton carrying guns. After discussing the outside threat, the two agree to live together with their respective families in order to see it through. But as the malevolent force draws closer and closer, paranoia and distrust take hold of both families, which creates a force of evil just as dangerous as the one outside. If they're sick, then I am too. If you're looking for smart horror, A24 certainly delivers that with this terrifying trailer. Number 2. Ridley Scott says Neil Blomkamp's Alien 5 is dead. I've heard enough of this and I'm asking Neil to pull the plug. Sorry Blomkamp fans, it appears the dream is dead. If they were from another country we might understand but they're not even from this planet yet. In an interview with French publication Allociné, Ridley Scott revealed that the Alien sequel Neil Blomkamp was reportedly set to direct is never going to happen. What? What? The project initially gained momentum in 2015 when the District 9 director posted alien concept art to which fans reacted positively to, drawing in Fox's attention. They won't put that in the video, I don't think. But Scott elaborated on the situation by saying there was never a script to Blomkamp's idea, but only a 10-page pitch that producers over time seemed to lose interest in. There is an explanation for this, you know. Fox decided that they didn't want to do it, and that was it, Scott said. I'd already done Prometheus, and I was planning Covenant, so I don't know. When asked if there was any chance for Blomkamp's film in the future, Scott added, I don't think so, no. I've got to get going, guys. I think we're going to have to cut this, this interview now because we're going to go to this thing. Bummer. At least fans have Covenant to look forward to this month. To the Covenant! To the Covenant! Before we get to the final pick, here are a couple new releases. That's a really bad sign. And I never thought I'd feel this way, the way I feel. Ooh. I've hardly seen you last week. I've been overly occupied. So you're screwing your wife now? As if. It must be love. Oh, hey, pizza? Uh, not today, Barry. Thanks. I got a scoop. It must be love. Number one The Dark Tower finally gets a trailer. You're a gunslinger, right? There are no gunslingers. The long wait is over. After keeping fans in the dark for what seemed like an eternity, the first glimpse of Stephen King's adaptation of The Dark Tower has arrived in the form of its first official trailer. Based on the book of the same name, Jake Chambers, played by Tom Taylor, is a young boy whose imagination and vision sweep him into another dimension called the Midworld. There's another world out there. I know there is. He then meets up with gunslinger Idris Elba and must help him protect the Dark Tower from Matthew McConaughey's The Man in Black, a sorcerer aspiring to rule all the kingdoms. You can't stop what's coming. Death always wins. Taking place in a barren landscape, the trailer showcases the tremendous acting talent of both Elba and McConaughey and offers us snippets of the evil ready to be unleashed in the form of rabid dog-like creatures, masked humanoids, and other unexplainable phenomena. With just four months until its theatrical release, the trailer couldn't come sooner enough. I killed my heart.
Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.